perfect opportunity. Ewan, Ewan, I'm going to settle, going our, to settle score our score right, right now. I'm down for that. It's easier than waiting until he has Bodo with him. <laughs> what are you doing here? Leave you on Lord Dubrasil has summoned you. <laughs> that sound effect he made before he started that line. No, we shall leave it for now. It's the toxicosis. I like how Crucius just kind of, you know, took that uh, made-up word that Rain had and he just kind of running with it. He's an angel. He's an angel too. Damn it, you would. Damn it, you would. Wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What? Why have you come all the way here to Tefe Al? I'm here to save Colette. What good will saving, what good will saving the Chosen do? The relation, of the, the relation of the two worlds vying for each other's mana will not change. Their positions, their positions have merely been reversed with the regeneration ritual. Has Tefe Al begun, begun to decline? The Tower of Salvation, the Tower of Salvation can still be seen from this world as well. As long as that exists here, it means that this world is still flourishing. Although in the event that the Chosen becomes Martel's vessel, Tethayala will surely bid farewell to its era of prosperity. Isn't there anything that can be done? Yggdrasil is the one that built this twisted world. Lord Yggdrasil does not consider it twisted. If you want to do something, you want to use your own hand. I thought you weren't going to make any more mistakes. Yeah, I'll do it. This stupid system of two worlds stealing mana from each other. I swear I'll change it. <laughs> well, do your best. Zealous has a really goofy grin on his face. <laughs> I like the way he well, says Asgard, don't you? Yeah. Like the Asgard Ranch. Really the same organization. Is that like one of those little things you put on a bike seat so it doesn't hurt as much when you sit on it? <laughs> You're not wrong, Lloyd. <laughs> yes. That means we must be careful of everyone, including the renegades. Colette, is everything else back to normal? Besides your voice, Besides your voice you can you feel inside? things and such? Yep. Yep. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Thanks, everyone. And I'm sorry I made all of you worry. You I wasn't worried. Hey, you know <laughs> I think I'm hungry for the first time in a long time. <coughs> That's great. No, it's not. We were kind of enjoying not like feeding her. <laughs> Though it would have been better, you know. Just like I thought. She needed it and <laughs> hadn't survived. I'm starving to death. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if you get beat up on battle, we'll give you an orange shell. It's okay. Which is funny because an orange shell wouldn't even help with the fact that she was being beat up in battle. <laughs> <laughs> That's like her life philosophy, right? Yeah. What about Perseia? Genus's philosophy from this point on is what about Perseia? Let's go to the only place we can reach right now. Can we even get into Maltopia? <coughs> I guess there's a house of guidance we can get to. And in fact, we're about to head there. We're counting on you, fellas. You got it. You got it. You can always count on me. Now, my honeys, we're off to Maltopia. Colette? Colette? What's wrong, Lloyd? What's wrong, Lloyd? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Here, what level does. Do I get super lightning blade at? Do you remember? Pretty high level. Now, like regular lightning blade, I'm not sure. But it's significantly before super lightning blade, as I recall. But here's what's really exciting. You need 50 uses on lightning, and uh, 
188 more on pure steam and fang. <clears throat> That's gonna get really hard art, really fast. Art usage should really transfer between Chrono Solos. Art usage should transfer between different games. <laughs> so you can have all your art usage from the GameCube version? Okay, that's a good art setup for Colette. Was it parable? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure the mechanical reason she has other arts. Are you? No, not really. I mean, Stardust Cross is really good. It's like the last art she gets. <clears throat> Toss Hammer. Yeah, but we're not going to get to 300 whatever usage on Pow Hammer. In fact, we might not get a single extra point of art usage for Colette in the rest of the run. And curious how good Grand Cross might be, though. Yeah, when she hits level 30 something to learn it, we'll uh, be sure to try it out. I'll put it at the same priority as trying out Regal's new moves. Oh yeah, I forgot to check what I'm at on Tempest. 21 more. <laughs> Tempest and Fierce Demon Fang just kind of take care of themselves in the usage department. That was pro. He was in the way. And you were in his way. I wanted to learn Tiger Rage. I can't even make it to the enemy to get any TP back. This is really bad. I'm sorry. Hey, I got a point of TP back. <laughs> I really don't like this dungeon. It's really narrow and the camera stays too close to you. Like, I couldn't have avoided that. But it was amusing to watch you try. Yeah. Okay. Now that we're out of that terrible dungeon. I like how there are blue dots in the world map now where all the docks are. Maybe they used to be there, but the resolution was sufficiently low they weren't visible. And that was a really good camera angle. It was. It was perfect for watching you fail. My favorite thing about how this version handles the world map is how it just pans the camera to weird places to try to avoid the ridiculous lag. There should be like a select few male characters that Zealous flirts with and gets items from. Things are a lot more expensive in Tefeala. The Houses of Guidance are pretty much a total ripoff, but it's the only inn we can reach right now. Hey, we could go to that guy and pay him 10 grade for an alleged metal sphere that we won't get. I wonder if they fixed that bug in this version. Fear Steven Fang. Huh. It's like I really would like to have a... I need to take this off or it's going to cause me significant problems. You're not terribly far away from getting access to Fiery Tempest. Blazing Tempest? Or Blazing Tempest. Yeah, I also want to learn Tiger Rage. I actually kind of want to go back to S after I learn Tiger Rage, so it's fine that I'm not very far in T. Oh, 
Oh, there's something else I need to do too, isn't there? Because she's jealous. Wait, did you just forget? I missed. I just forgot Sonic Sword Rain so I can learn Sword Rain Alpha. Uh oh. Zelos is the only party member who mentioned any actual good ideas for this. The question is, did Zelos have to solve this puzzle every time he snuck in at night? Well, he has to solve part of it. He didn't make it clear that that door that ends up being locked wasn't locked when he went through last time. It's really awkward when it slows down right there. What are we going to do with our level 3 gems? I don't know. If we can hold on to them until Kratos gets back, that'd be handy, but... We're going to get plenty before Kratos comes back. I mean, we could give... We could give Zelos a ridiculously long combo. Zelos is with us for a really long time. You know, if all the garbage just shoots out onto the square in front of the garbage compactor, it doesn't, doesn't really seem like a very good garbage compactor. So, you prefer Slasher or Super Chain? Probably Slasher. Well, if we get another one, we can give Zelos the whole, you know, shebang, I guess. Super Blast, Super Chain. Yep. Why did that get rid of my block? <clears throat> okay, I think it's this hole. Does that sound right? Um, I don't know. That's one of the two holes we had to drop it in. Then it's one of these two. I think it's the one on the left. It might be the one on the right. Got rid of 
probably not fit back there. Or it's both of them. We have to move a lot of heavy objects here. Zealous doesn't want to get his hands all over garbage. <coughs> then why was he flirting with Colette? Sound effect. No, I don't either. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, that sound effect significantly improves this dungeon. You remember which enemy in here has that gem? Let me I look. I want to say it's this rat right here, but I'm not sure. Well, you can continue to solve the dungeon. I will find this. So you already got the EX gym level 2, right? The one in... Well, actually, let's just find out what I've already gotten. And I think the memory gym is in the previous uh, room. Which room is it in? Um, the previous screen from here, like, but like back towards the 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 room that you were, yeah, here. Which enemy? I think it's that rat at the top of the stairs. To the What's left. the description actually say? Okay, so it's one of these rats around here. It might be this rat, but I kind of want to get past it so I can see what's on the other side. It's this rat. Okay. Being poisoned is...
Lloyd Flurn Tiger Rage. This is really stupid. He just won't learn Tiger Rage. I really, really need to learn Tiger Rage, like, instantly. Because I'm about out of tea. You put the technical ring on for the next encounter? It is on. Oh. Or no, it's not. That's why it's hard to learn, but I don't want to go far because I want to switch right back. Alright, see if you can learn it. Oh. I'm out of TP now, which makes it so noxious. I'm probably just going to start chugging orange gels in the next forest encounter just because I really need to learn this art. <laughs> Don't you love how art learning is completely random? It's pretty awesome. That's that. I always found that EX Gem level 1 really easy to miss. Because it's an EX Gem level 1? Because that is kind of an obscurely hidden nook. There's a chest back there, isn't there? Yep. Good job, Lloyd, on not learning Tiger Rage. dead end. Is the camera always this bad in here? I think so. I mean, I know it wasn't great, but I don't remember it being this bad. And that made a spider web appear. Yay for block pushing puzzles. It's one of the various things every game needs to be complete. Right up there with lava. The water world. Here, up here, and that'll let us get the last one. But because it would be a silly way to do things if we could do everything at once, let's run around this way. Got 
These are awfully cooperative spiders. <coughs> yeah, they figured they would have put a spider at the end of this dungeon, right? I mean, we fight convict, convicts, that's kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. Be like the abandoned factory and could fight a bad one. You know, I think I'm good. I don't think you can push that. I was just hoping there was a funny animation. I couldn't recall if there was or wasn't. Mike's call that our on-screen character right now, by the way. Because we're pushing huge blocks of garbage. And because it annoys you. You know how horrible it is to mess up with that block? <coughs> it's like half the dungeon right there. Pushing that one block. Then again, I think they realized that they didn't exactly give you a lot of options with how to use this block. Collect, grab the block. That was a good addition, I'll give them that. Heal up at all, or at least get. I mean, we will. There's still places to go. I guess there is more to this riveting dungeon. Which one of these is the mimic? The last one. That's a really nice chest, too. With this obnoxious enemy in front of it.
out of my way. That was lovely. Took it a second to think about that. I think that was true in the original as well. I wonder what the deal is with that item. Oh. You know we should be able to fight this boss as miniatures, right? You would actually have to. I sense, I sense danger. danger. Waited, waited. <laughs> To Notice he did the unpromise to free them, just to lighten their sentences. And that's usually.